is a T1 weighted MRI. And on this T1 weighted MRI, you can see this cystic lesions with a central scolex. So this cystic lesions with a central scolex that you're able to appreciate on a T2 weighted also, you can see the cystic lesions, they appear white on T2, they appear dark on T1. And you can see that cystic areas have that hypointense scolex on a T2 weighted MRI. So this is how you see the vesicular stage of neurocystic sarcosis, cyst with a central scolex. Another good example here with a vesicular stage of neurocystic sarcosis, multiple neurocystic sarcosis, multiple cysts with a central scolex are noted here. And please look at this images on MRI. You can see this uh, neurocystic sarcosis which is involving the brain and also you can see that this parasite is also seen in the scalp muscles, not just the scalp muscles, even the lower limb muscles and these parasites, they align longitudinally along the muscle planes and they give a classic rice grain like appearance. When they involve the muscles, so they give this rice grain like appearance. So this rice grain like appearance is seen when there is involvement of the muscles. So you call it myocystic sarcosis. Myocystic sarcosis has this rice grain like appearance and later on they get calcified giving rice grain calcifications in myocystic sarcosis. Now what is this image? Is it CT or MRI? This image is a CT scan image showing multiple calcifications noted throughout the brain parenchyma. So this CT scan image that is showing this multiple calcifications throughout the brain parenchyma this is called as starry sky appearance, starry sky appearance and this starry sky appearance is a feature of calcific nodular stage, calcific nodular stage of neurocystic sarcosis, neurocystic sarcosis. So this is classic starry sky appearance.